Hi, uh, so in this video I wanted to uh, show how to set up um, the driver for the Huon 1161 or H1161 uh, drawing tablet on Linux and specifically on Debian Linux that's the only system that I had experience with setting it up on but I'm sure that a lot of the steps that I explain uh, will also apply to other Linux distributions. Uh, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. Um, and like, the reason why I wanted to create this video is because uh, in addition to just installing the driver, uh, you also kind of, once you install it, you run into uh, a bit of a, like an issue where the driver or uh, where the driver creates like additional files in your home directory and that's not very nice so I'll show how to get rid of that as well uh, and set it up so that it puts those files into a separate location but in any case here's the page for um, uh, the Inspiroi H1161 tablet from Huon and um, basically what you need to do is you need to click uh, download over here and it will take you to another page where you can select um, the Linux driver over here and uh, you can just click this link and it will download the, the .deb package for you. Uh, what I like to do is I like to right click and copy link and then go to my terminal and then use something like um, like wget for example to download the file or just paste the link in the terminal and then download the file uh, this way as you can see I already have it uh, here in this directory downloaded so I'm not gonna run the command but uh, that's what the command would basically do download this file into your current uh, uh, working directory in your terminal uh, so once you downloaded it, downloaded it, uh, you need to run sudo apt install, then dot forward slash, and this is important uh, to have the dot forward slash here, uh, and then the name of the file, so you can just like start typing it and then hit tab to auto complete. Uh, if if you do this, it won't install it from the file, but it'll try to search the repository for the the package with this name, and it won't find it, so it won't work. So you need to do this like dot forward slash, uh, and then the name of the file. Um, so that's how you install it. I'm not going to run this because I already have it installed, but uh, it's very straightforward. It's just like installing any other package uh, with apt. Uh, so once you have that set up, um, let me see, let me, I can disable my, um, yeah, like always a bit of a problem doing this, uh, but, uh, here's my like entire desktop and you can see like, uh, basically, uh, OBS recording over here on the right and like creating this like picture in picture effect. So I'm going to disable the preview for a second. So once you install um, uh, the, the package and uh, I think you might need to either re reboot your system or basically like if you, like if you, depending on what kind of a desktop environment you have installed, uh, you might have like a menu, for example, uh, where you can find uh, that uh, package and then run it. Okay, like for me it appeared under accessories, but from the terminal you can run uh, gtk-launch Hue on tablet. And that should launch the, um, the driver basically that you just installed. Uh, but if it doesn't work, just reboot your system or log in and out uh, and uh, you should basically get this icon in your system tray which uh, where you can set up all of the kind of all of the controls for your tablet 
which I'm not gonna go through, but uh, basically, uh, yeah, uh, everything is pretty straightforward here. Um, it would work just like on uh, like uh, you would install it uh, if you installed it on Windows or a Mac. Basically, the same thing. It's the same app. Um, so that's that. Uh, let me uh, go back to my uh, previous uh, view here. So uh, that's like the kind of the the default installation. Now, once you run it. If you just like go in your home directory and you uh, either just like open your f uh, like um, file manager, like whatever uh, you have installed something like um, what is it called, like uh, like Dolphin on KDE or uh, oh God, like like Thunar or Thunar. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but T H U N A R. Uh, I guess it's Thunar. Um, and just like look in your home directory, you'll notice that it will create uh, like three additional files uh, there that you probably don't need. So I already moved those files in a separate location and I changed some settings so that the driver doesn't put them in my home directory any anymore, which I'll explain how to do in a second. But these are the three files that you'll see appear in your home directory. Um, so like either open like your file manager or like just type a, uh, open the terminal and type ls uh, in your home directory and then you'll see those three files there. Um, so like I found that quite annoying when I when I found out that it just like did that. Uh, so naturally, I went online to look for solutions, and I found this thread on um, Arch Linux forums where someone like posted this comment uh look uh, look at zen, zen lian's comment and uh, then if you, if you go to that link uh, you get this thread where if you find the comment uh, by that person um he basically kind of like it might not be very clear uh, like it took me a while to figure out like what exactly he did here but uh basically you can change this setting to um uh, to so that like uh, this Huon uh, driver runs from like in a different location like you can choose any location of your uh, any location you you like I I have it in my um, uh, home local share Huon tablet that's the the folder I picked for it uh, so that you can like t create like a folder where like uh, the driver will put all of its files and uh, it will be just for that and it won't uh, um, clutter your home directory. So I'm going to just explain how, how this all works. Um, right now, basically, what do you need to do? Let me clear the screen over here. Um, what you need to do is um, if you look in, in, in this location, uh, like uh, root directory at Etsy um, XDG auto start uh, after you install this Huon uh, tablet package uh, you will find uh, a Huon tablet dot, dot desktop file here and uh, so let's see let me just open it to show you what it's like what it looks like uh, has some white space like trailing over here uh, but uh, that doesn't matter. Basically, this is what this fi file looks like. This is basically the file that uh, that it installs, and, and it's in this file that we need to uh, make some adjustments. But uh, it's not really a good idea to make changes in this um, in the system directory, although you can, uh, and it will work. But there's a better way. You have a, a separate location in your uh, user um, um, directory where uh, you can copy this file, create a copy of this file. And basically, the way the system works is like if a file with the same name is uh, found in the user directory, it takes precedence over the system wide file in this like Etsy XDG auto start folder. 
So uh, you can just like leave alone, uh, leave the system configuration alone and just configure it for your user. So basically, this is the directory in your user um, home folder. Uh, it's a um, home directory dot config auto start. That's where you you can put your user specific files. Um, these dot desktop files, just like in the Etsy XDG auto start. So um, as you can see, I have like three files here for like Solar, Huon, and uh, Alex Paul Kit. Uh, so all these files are also uh, like there's also a file with the same name in the Etsy XDG auto start directory, but since I have it in my user folder, um, it will take precedence, uh, and uh, and like uh, this, uh, these files won't do anything basically when the when you log in uh, to your system. And so to uh, to put this file into this auto start folder, like if the folder doesn't exist, uh, you just create it in that location, user directory dot config auto start. Just create that folder if it's not there already, and uh, then you simply copy the file from Etsy XDG auto start um, you on tablet dot desktop and into dot config auto start. So um, that's what uh, that's how you uh, get that file into your user specific uh, location. And uh, now um, Let's open uh, both the system wide file and uh, and the one that I have in my user directory that I modified slightly and take a look at uh, what changes I made uh, so that uh, so that we can take care uh, of those uh, files there so that they don't appear in the home directory anymore. Uh, so let's see. Uh, let me delete this so that it doesn't distract us. So this is the system-wide file. Um, and uh, this is the one that I, uh, like, the, basically the copy of this file that I modified. Uh, so as you can see, I added uh, this path line over here and uh, this hidden equals true thing, I'll, uh, well, I'll explain it in a second, but it's not really important here. Basically, this is what you need to add. You need to add this line, just path equals, and then put uh, the absolute path, uh, which means that it starts with the root directory, uh, forward slash, and then go, for example, like home, your user location, then which, whatever folder you choose. And uh, so that when this desktop um, dot desktop file launches and starts the the Huon driver so that the driver starts uh, in this location and it puts all those files in there so that's how you get it to uh, to do that now I also wanted to say a few words about this hidden equals true line basically I have it commented out here but if I uncommented it uh, then and then rebooted my system then um, uh, the hue and driver wouldn't start automatically so this is basically a way to disable um, uh, auto start of apps um, in this uh, xdg auto start uh, system so i already made a separate video about this and i'm going to link to it in the description so uh, check out this video if you're interested uh, to learn more about the uh, xdg auto start um, uh, system and uh, and yeah it's available it's there go uh, go ahead and check it out so this is pretty much it for this video uh, I hope you you found it valuable and that it helps you uh, set up your um, your tablet on your Linux system such that uh, it, uh, driver doesn't clutter your home directory and everything runs smoothly so yeah, this is basically it. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.